We're being told there were workers on the bridge. We have yet to confirm that. Um, we'll work with MDTA to, to, you know, obviously to get that information. About how many cars were on that ship? Last question. Uh, uh, on the uh, on the deck of the bridge at the time it collapsed. Do you know Don't have a number. I can tell you our sonar has detected the presence of vehicles submerged in the water. I don't have a count of that yet. Thank you. Next. Uh, Chief, you mentioned upwards of seven individuals that you're looking for. We've heard reports of as many as 20 individuals. Can you just a more clear picture of about how many people actually fell into the water, how many people you might be uh, looking to rescue, and also being an idea of how many vehicles, although you might not have that answer, but really just like the <coughs> Yeah, I'll start with the last one. So I don't know how many vehicles yet. I know that we have detected the presence of vehicles. As far as the number between the 7 and 20, that's been a dynamic count um, throughout the morning, just given the fact that we haven't yet nailed that number down. We do believe that at least seven are involved in that, at least seven at this point. That fell into water. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I know you said the crew was accounted for according to the Coast Guard on deck. Do we know if any of the crew members were part of these at least seven people that may have been in the water? We do not. Survivability of water throughout. We'll be guided by, by our dive teams. We will determine what the temperature of the water is. The other issue that we have out there is this water is is, is current uh, influenced. So right now we think the tide is coming back in. That adds a bit of a challenge to us also. We can certainly dive in these conditions, but we have to take a lot of factors in play, right? The fact that there may be trauma involved, they have been in, a, in the water an extended period of time. Um, but also remember, we're battling darkness. So, you know, it's, it's quite possible that we may have somebody there that we've not seen yet. Um, and as they work closer to the debris field, um, you know, they'll, they'll obviously make those determinations. But we're going to rely on the experts, which are our, our, our dive masters that are here, our dive team, to tell us when they believe we've reached that, that, that non-survivability.